Yo, what's up guys, it is Seahawks Area, back with another video, and yes, I did change the name of my channel to my Instagram handle. Eh, it just sounds better, I think to me it does at least. But, welcome back to another video, and today is the Seahawks full 7 round mock draft. I promised this in yesterday's video, so I'm making it happen. No trades, let's get to the picks. Pick 16, Jerzon Newton, defensive tackle from Illinois. Why not get another guy from Illinois with our first pick in the draft? We saw how it worked last year. It's going to work again, I promise. Look, our defensive line sucks. We know that. Draymond Jones was very disappointing. Brian Monet doesn't play. Jerron Reed, he's good, but he ain't getting any younger. And same with Leonard Williams, who we don't even know if he's going to be back next year. It's going to cost a lot of money. Depends on how we can handle with the money. But Jerzon Newton, he violently uses his fist to quickly and violently push through blocks. He uses burst around the turn to hit the edge. He can use edge moves to beat tackles. He is more than capable of running several gaps quickly and having excellent vision to get through. All right, pick 78, since we don't have a second round pick because of the Leonard Williams trade, pick 78 is in the third round. But we got Javon Board, the safety from Georgia. Now hear me out before you're like, why are you taking a safety? We got safety. Jamal Adams should and will be gone. Quandre Diggs could be gone. So Julian Love is really our only safety, like locked into the team for right now. So, why not take Bullard? He's a good free safety. You will instantly replace Quandre. His play recognition skills are powerful and instinctive. Bullard distinguishes well between runs and passes by immediately analyzing backfield motion. Bullard is a playmaker at his free safety position with his play, speed, and instincts. And he performs a fantastic job at playing above everything and letting nothing get in his way. Could be like the new Earl Thomas for our team. Pick 81, Christian Haynes, guard from UConn. Let's say Damian Lewis leaves the team if he doesn't want to come back. Pick this guy up. All things considered, Haynes is a tough-minded, seasoned athlete with strong play strength to support an O-line room as an excellent interior depth piece. As he adjusts to NFL speed, he can develop into a very reliable starter in a play-action-based progressive system. Pick 119, Tommy Eichenberg, linebacker, Ohio State. Just like most of the other picks, what if so-and-so leave? What if we don't re-sign them? What if we don't bring back Bobby Wagner? What if we don't re-sign Jordan Brooks? What if we don't re-sign a linebacker in free agency? Which I wouldn't put past us to do because we're the Seahawks and we suck at free agency. Why not pick up Tommy Eichenberg? He is without a doubt one of the best downhill linebackers in this draft class. He has good shooting range allowing him to slip through the defense and get a play on the ball. He can operate through the offensive line as a reliable backfield player in the correct scheme. And he is a very consistent well-timed blitz defender when it comes to stopping the pass. Pick 151, Keith Randolph Jr., defensive tackle from Illinois. Why not pair Newton with Randolph again? From college to the NFL with the Seahawks. Why not? Plus, they'll be back with Devon Witherspoon, the trio on defense once again. Randolph is a very strong run defender and is capable of closing his gap. His remarkable upper body power allows him to shut down offensive linemen, and his long arms allow him to gain the most extension possible on blocks. Pick 194, Brendan Jackson, edge rusher, Washington State University. Look, I'm a Washington State fan. I in love Brendan Jackson. I've loved watching him play. For like the past three years since I've really started getting into watching Washington State in college football. Him and Ron Stone on the D-line. Chef's kiss. Jackson plays with complete dedication which puts him in positions where he can make advantage plays on defense. His ability as a pass rusher will help him make the necessary adjustments. 
and he uses a hand counter, rip move, and spin move to get to the quarterback while still trying to win. This should be a really sneaky, good pick, whoever he goes to, and if he actually gets playing time. And the last pick, pick 233. I know a lot of people just don't like this guy. I mean, I kind of understand why, but he doesn't deserve a lot of hate. And it's Joe Milton, quarterback from Tennessee. He is an athletically gifted quarterback standing at 6'5", and he's 235 pounds, may have one of the strongest arms in the class. And when it comes to raw tools, Milton has everything an NFL offense could ask for at the quarterback position and more. And that alone may increase the potential of an offense. Look, he could, he could be a project quarterback. It, it's really a low risk, could be a high reward. I mean, we're taking him with, in the seventh round. Let's be real here if this actually happens. Let him sit behind Geno. Let him learn something. Learn everything he can get. Maybe two, three years. Maybe we can see Joe Milton on the Seahawks lighten it up. Who knows? But he's not completely terrible. I know his deep accuracy isn't the greatest, but come on. He's a human too, guys. Like, come on, don't fully rip on him. I feel like if we can actually develop him with Ryan Grubb and um, everyone else on offense, he could be a really good quarterback. Well, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please like, comment, and subscribe. And turn the notification bell on so you'll never miss an upload. I will see you in the next video. Go Hawks!